So what's the best horror movie of all time? Let's find out together. What's going on everyone? It is Nightmare Culture. and Today we're deep diving into what I believe is the best horror movie of all time and that is Ridley Scott's Alien. This film isn't just a masterclass in sci-fi horror, it's a layered atmospheric experience that combines slasher elements, creature feature thrills, and honestly unsettling deeper themes. So let's discuss why Alien stands above the rest in horror. What makes Alien truly exceptional is its atmosphere. The film is a slow burn crafting an oppressive sense of dread from the very beginning. From the claustrophobic corridors of the Nostromo to the eerie dark corners of space. It's not just the creature you fear, it's the setting itself. Space is unforgiving and no one is coming to save you. Ridley Scott is a master at using silence and tension to build this atmosphere. The Nostromo isn't a sleek spaceship from Star Wars or Star Trek. It's grimy, industrial, and feels like it could break down at any second. It adds to the sense that everything, not just the alien, is a threat. What's brilliant about Alien is it seamlessly combines two distinct horror subgenres. The slasher films and the creature features. At its core, Alien is basically a slasher movie. The crew is picked off one by one by an unstoppable force that always seems to be one step ahead. Kind of like Michael Myers, but you know, with acid for blood. Alien isn't just a slasher, it's also a creature feature. The Xenomorph is the perfect predator, designed by H.R. Giger to be as disturbing as possible. It's a nightmare made of teeth and claws. The Xenomorph's design is one of the most iconic in all of horror. There's a reason why no one's tried to replicate it. It's too terrifying to mess with. I mean, who saw that thing for the first time and thought, yeah, I could handle it? No. If I saw that creature in real life, I'd tap out faster than the crew of the Nostromo. Nope. We're done. Time to eject. And then there's Ripley. Ellen Ripley didn't just redefine the final girl trope. She obliterated it. Ripley isn't waiting around to get rescued. She's taking charge. And by the end of the film, she's toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Xenomorph like a total badass. Ripley's the kind of person who would put Xenomorph Slayer on her LinkedIn profile. And let's be honest, she'd probably still get job offers. What makes Ripley such a compelling character is that her strength doesn't come from superpowers or weapons. Well, flamethrower counts. It's from her will to survive. She's methodical, resourceful, and fearless, making her one of the greatest heroes in all of horror. She's a character who refuses to be a victim and even when facing something as terrifying as a Xenomorph. Ripley didn't even blink when she had to blow the alien out of the airlock. Meanwhile, I kind of freak out if I see a spider in my bathroom. Different vibes, I guess. Now let's shift gears into the more disturbing aspects of Alien. It's exploration of, well, sexual violence. The facehugger, for instance, represents one of the most invasive forms of violation imaginable. Bleh. The way it implants its offsprings into a host that's not just body horror, it's a clear metaphor for, well, you know, that violence. I mean, this was done in the 80s. Freaky. And in classic alien fashion, they choose to make the victim of this violation a man. Who says horror only happens to women? Let's traumatize everyone equally. The xenomorph itself, not just a killing machine, it's a walking nightmare designed to violate, corrupt, and destroy. And that makes it infinitely more terrifying than just your standard slasher villain. One of the reasons Alien has stayed relevant for so long is its deep and fascinating lore. The film opened the door to an entire universe filled with questions and mysteries. Who's the engineers? What's the true origins of Xenomorphs? Did David really make them? Come on, that's boring. And what's Wayland really after? What makes the Alien lore so compelling is that it doesn't give you all the answers. Every new film adds layers to the mythology, but it never fully explains, honestly, anything. The sense of mystery only deepens the fear. We know that there's more out there, more horrors, more aliens, more existential nightmares, and that's what keeps this franchise alive. We're always left wanting more. And we'll probably still be wanting more after Ridley Scott drops 10 more prequels that raise twice as many questions. It's like trolling us at this point. So why does Alien stand as the greatest horror movie of all time? It's not just about scares, it's about atmosphere, tension, and a unique blend of horror subgenres. It dives deep into the uncomfortable themes and survival and presents us with one of the most iconic creatures in cinematic history. 
Ripley's journey, the xenomorph design, and the haunting open-ended lore basically makes Alien an enduring masterpiece. Other horror films might give you nightmares for a night or two, but Alien? Huh. Alien gives you existential dread that lasts a lifetime. Forget sleeping soundly after watching it. You'll be checking your vents for face huggers for the rest of your life. I know I do. But that's just my take. What do you all think? Does Alien deserve the top spot or do you have another horror favorite? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. And as always, if you enjoyed this breakdown, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more deep dives into the world of horror. Until next time, stay sharp and watch out for those face huggers.